Hey kids, welcome to Unit 2, Lesson 9, Printing Objects, Exercise Number 3. Kids, if you watched Exercise Number 2 video, kind of stole out of my thunder here what's happening. But don't worry, if you're new here, we're going to work through this problem together. In my console Java, refractor the code to print the information about the my desired object to the console. Then we have a little show me how there. Refractor, I remember that vocabulary word. That's the process of restructuring code while not changing its original functionality. And in that lesson, what we did was extend another class in order to get its methods. And that helped that class become more useful because we didn't have to rewrite the code. That means we want to print off the same thing as my dessert get flavor my dessert get price. And remember, those are my get methods accessing my private instance variables. And you remember in the last lesson in our delicious dessert class, we wrote this two string method here and it returned flavor is flavor and price is price. And if you also remember that two string method overrides the two string method from the object class, which returns the location of an object, not the value stored. That two string method now lets me call the value stored. That means the refractor, all I have to do is type system.out.println, and we're just gonna call our object now. Now when I hit run, I should get this printed off twice. And you can see we got it printed off twice. We could go in there and be super committed to having 100% correct code. Coming down here and for the flavor, we're gonna paste our flavor of my dessert is, don't forget the space and the price as well. Don't forget to keep your escape sequence in there. Now when we hit run, we get the same thing to print off. And all we did was use that overridden two string method to print off what we want, those private instance variables, instead of the object's location. Kids, don't worry. I do see that non-spaced part over there. I'm not gonna let any of my kids hang in there. There we go, perfect. Key takeaway from this lesson is understanding that this two string method allows us to return a string that is more useful than a memory location. With two string, we can print off what we want when we call an object. Hopefully this video helped you understand how to refractor your code and what the two string method is. As always kids, if you have any questions, come see me. Otherwise, I'll see you on the next lesson. See you later kids, bye, bye.